Previously, we used Gaia to create our vegetation, and it looked really good, and we had quite a bit of control over it. But in this episode, we're going to use Vegetation Studio Pro to improve it even further, and to add much more vegetation in there, make it look a lot richer. In fact, it's going to look something like this by the time we've finished with it in this episode. All right, so I've already installed uh, Vegetation Studio Pro. It's not a cheap package, but it is fantastic. There is a cheaper version called Vegetation Studio um, that doesn't have some of the features I'm gonna use here, but you can get some really good effects with that too. Now, since we're gonna be using Vegetation Studio Pro for our environment, for our vegetation, we need to get rid of all of the vegetation currently in our scene. So you can do that by going to one of your tree or detail spawners, click clear trees, and then clear details, and your scene will no longer have trees or grasses and details, just the lovely textures. Now, Vegetation Studio Pro can give you texturing as well, um, but we're not going to use that today. We're just going to focus on um, vegetation for today. So, we enable Vegetation Studio Pro through Window, Awesome Technologies, Add Vegetation Studio Pro to the scene. What that does is it adds these uh, elements here, these objects here. It also adds, if we go to our terrain, it also adds Unity Terrain to uh, your terrain object. So, how do we go about using this? Well, we could use the same trees and, uh, and grasses that we've been using throughout, but I'm actually going to take the opportunity to improve even further and use the meadow environment which is from nature manufacture uh, it's a beautiful beautiful set of uh, various different flowers and grasses and trees and so on um, you don't have to use this you could use the same standard stuff that we've been using up until now it's exactly the same pro process so i've already imported that I'm going to now go into my My Stuff folder, create a folder, and I'm going to call this VSP. And inside of that folder, I am going to create Awesome Technologies, Vegetation Package Pro, No Texture Biome. And I'm going to call this uh, Grass Lowland. Um, why no textures? Because, as I said earlier on, in this case, I don't want to um, use the biomes to texture the scenery. We'll do that in a later uh, video, but we, for now, we're not going to have any in there at all. So, how do we use it? We go to the Vegetation System Pro here, and we go to Biomes, and we drag our new biome into here to add it to our available biomes. Give it a name. Um, grass lowlands and this particular one is going to be our default we're also going to have some more later um, which do a, a, a different um, type of vegetation but for this episode we're just going to um, reproduce roughly speaking what we had previously using just Gaia so we need to now create some vegetation within there. So go to Edit Biomes. Make sure you have the grasslands selected. We only have one biome now, so it's going to be selected by default. And let's start off by putting some grass into our scene. Here is our meadow environment from Nature Manufacturers. And here is our grass folder. And if we look inside of here, we have a whole bunch of grasses and flowers uh, etc so we have in here we have a bunch of grasses tall grasses and smaller ones lovely looking things all prefabs all 3d all responding to uh, the wind and so on and we get some clusters as well and inside of this folder 
we have flowers lots of different types of flowers we need to go vegetation system pro here and we need to just make a bit more space for editing nature manufacture unity grasses okay let's go the clumps were at the bottom weren't they so let's have a look at these okay those two definitely let's start with this one so what we do is we drag it and we drop it into the appropriate place here in this case it's a 3d grass so we'll drop it into there and it immediately populates our scene uh, it's a bit um, dull brown i want it to look nice and healthy so i can scroll down and whilst i have this grass selected i can change the color we go and also change the less healthy color get some variety in here there we go and if i zoom down to there now we can see we have lovely grass all over our terrain so we're already looking reasonably similar to what we had previously um, I can actually change the way this spawns, but I'm going to leave it right. Well, let's have a quick look at it. I can make it less dense, more dense. I can have it uh, with more distance between each individual sample or less distance between each individual sample. And I can use all sorts of um, uh, settings here to control how high it is, etc. How high is one I want to use. At the moment, we will be spawning grass underwater, you see. I don't want that to happen. So we want to go to our maximum height and say, do not spawn below 50 meters, which is our water level. So now if I go up, we can see that we're spawning anywhere that is above water, but not below. Excellent. You can change steepness and so on. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, I'm going to add one more grass. Let's try this one and drop it onto the grass again. And again, we get it in by default. Looks a little uh, brown. So let's sort that out with our tinting. Okay, uh, and I feel these are a little large, so we can change the scale that they spawn in at. So, uh, be larger or smaller. Actually, these look pretty good larger. Just see, go down to level. Let's make those a little bit bigger. Okay, and then we can make them a little less. Uh, intense, a little less dense. There you go. All right, so I'm going to increase the density of the other one or reduce the sample distance. And I forgot on this one to set the max height. Okay, so we have some basic. Um, grasses you notice it hasn't spawned on the steep areas here uh, i'm just going to um, add some flowers and some other grasses in now we'll do a uh, a time lapse or a fast forward of the video while i do that okay so i've just completed the first grass biome and as you can see it is much much more lush now um, yet our frames per second have actually gone up um, before we were getting in the bra in the editor here, we were getting around about 20 to 30 frames per second, whereas now we're getting 40. Now, to be fair, I don't have trees in here yet, um, but this is considerably better already. 
Um, there is one thing I can do to improve significantly uh, on the frame rate as well, which is for grass. Um, it's well worth disabling the shadows on grass because um, you often don't see them. They're, they're way off down there uh, in the ground. So let's turn those off. I have now turned off the shadows on all of these uh, and we'll probably get an extra few frames per second out of this. So the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, add some trees. So see on the other side, we'll fast forward and we'll see what kind of FPS we're getting with trees. The process of adding trees is essentially the same as it is with adding grasses, as you can see in this speeded up video here. Um, the only key difference is you drop the tree prefab into the trees slot so that it knows how to handle it. Uh, but other than that, all of the other settings are essentially the same. So uh, we'll fast forward over the rest of this and come back very shortly. So there we go. I think I've recreated essentially what we had in Gaia. We had some trees dotted around and uh, we had some grasses. We have much more lush grass now and we have many more varieties of tree. And so we would expect a significant drop in frame rate. But in fact, we are getting a higher frame rate. We were averaging at around about uh, 20 to 30 um, frames per second whilst in the editor before. But despite having all of this lush grass now um, and all of these trees, we are now in the region of 40 to 50 frames per second and in the upper end of that as, uh, as well. We'll be able to increase that frames per second through further optimizations, but now is not the time for that. What we're going to do now is take a break and we'll back, be back with Vegetation Studio Pro in a later episode when we're going to use uh, a couple of techniques for changing the vegetation in specific areas. So I'll see you then. For now, enjoy the view.